Now, one final thing to take care of in Solitude. We've already been close to there. Catless Farm. Let's actually go to Solitude. We're going to ride on in. So let's fast travel back to Solitude. Or rather, Catless Farm. Staying safe, I hope. Naked! Naked, naked, naked! Yeah. When you grow up, kid, you're going to learn to appreciate this kind of naked. <laughs> oh yeah, my horse is uh, at the stables. to solitude to join the legion speak to Rika. into solitude we go they can't hurt Uncle Rog, this Tell beheading scene know. this famous Skyrim beheading scene always happens as soon as you come to solitude for the first time um, all the people are gonna be here usually what I like to do is just uh, wait till morning Just to reset everybody. Otherwise, you have to wait for them to do the beheading and whatnot. Then fast travel away to Catless Farm. And fast travel back. And this should reset everybody. There we go. What? It didn't. Figures. No, the beheading has been done. Yeah. Everybody get back to business. Alright, now, the beggar's there, that's good. Give him a coin. I don't know, he's still not back. He should be over here. Come on, everybody get back to business. This is a bit of a hassle sometimes. There we go. Okay, so everybody's back with their default position. Talk to the beggar. Give him a coin to get the the, the gift of charity again. This is very important. And go. Oops, sorry, buddy. Go over here to Angeline's Aromatics. <laughs> it's a good thing you don't get a bounty for bumping into people. Eh? And find uh, Angeline. There she is. You're a traveler, correct? Have you been to White Run? Yes, we have. Wonderful. My, I haven't heard. And she'll her. tell you about her daughter. I've tried talking to Captain Aldous, but he hasn't been any help. Offered to talk to Captain Aldous for her. Oh, that's very sweet of you. Anything you can find out from Captain Aldous would be welcome news. And that's that. So we get a me next time favorite quest here. Exit. Go up here. Get some blue mountain flowers there, get a hanging moss there. <laughs> and go into the courtyard here. Find Captain Aldous, which is right there. Make mm -hmm. sure you got the gift of charity and ask him about Angeline's daughter. Generally posting information is need to know only. Plow through all that and you get the persuade option here. I, I've been trying Level to of speech again. Time and place to let and that's all the you need. There have been violent. The white one legged, he needed to know the storm cloak was that's he nice. Out Private Morag, We're just here for the speech leveling. Was in that scouting party. She needs to be told. Yeah, that's a shame. Okay, so we've leveled up again. Choose Magica. Your speech should be well above 30 by now. So make sure you get the allure perk. And go into the Temple of Divines before you take off. Blessings of the eight divines upon you. How may I help? And hit up the I Shrine of Zenithar. Okay, so now we got all these three uh, barter related bonuses in effect. This is from your amulet. This is from the shrine we just hit up. 
and that's from uh, the bigger. But we're gonna hit another bigger in Windhelm, and that is it. Now we're le ready to power level speech. We're very close to, you know, pretty close to level 50. Or actually, the target level is level 45. Okay. You see, we've done all this to get speech up from the default 20 up to 32. So now, one fell swoop, we can actually get speech up to 45 by just doing business with Sadri in Windhelm. Okay, in Windhelm, make sure you're in business hours. What we can do is just simply sleep till business hours. That'll be convenient. We have to get the well-rested bonus anyways. Put on some clothes, got some fresh <laughs> It's yours. I'll show you. I love room. running around naked in Skyrim. Everybody gets so upset. Okay, wait till business hours or sleep till business hours. Now we have the well rested bonus and the Thief Stone, which has been hooked up from the beginning. We have this from the Amulet of Xanathar. We have this from the, the shrine we hid in Solitude. All we have to do is give the beggar a coin. Actually, our other one is still in effect, but it's only in effect for three more minutes. So Let's refresh that by finding the beggar here in Windhelm. And then we're ready to do some mega business with Sadri and finally sell off all their loot. The beggar here is usually found in one of two places, either warming her hands by the fire in front of the palace. And there she is. Or she's over by the blacksmiths um, in the marketplace. Careful. Give her a coin. Oh, thank you. Refresh our blessing of the gift to charity Divine's and let's go do mega business with Divine's Sadri Divine. now with everything we have on board we should be able to level up speech easily actually the target level is 44 and I'll explain why in a minute let me guess someone stole your sweet yeah <laughs> I haven't heard that in a while <laughs> All right, here in Sadri's, you should have the following. Fortified Barter from your Amulet of Zenithar. Fort Blessing of Zenithar from the Shrine of Zenithar in Solitude. Fortified Persuasion from the Gift of Charity from giving the beggar a coin. The Thief Stone and the Well-Rested Bonus. You need all five of those bonuses before beginning business with Sadri. And you should also have speech up to level 33. I think I'm only at 32, but if it's close to 33, actually I'm not that close. Yeah, I'm only at 32. Um, okay, that's okay. I have an ace in the hole here in Windhelm. If things didn't work out so neatly for you as it did for me, and you're only at speech 32, actually it's plus 10 because of the gift of charity bonus. There's one more speech check we can do here in Windhelm. We're gonna let's go do that now, just to make sure this all works out neatly. Because basically we're going to buy speech skill training 10 times and we're going to level up speech twice by selling stuff. Now where it gets kind of iffy is when you're trying to sell stuff. So just to make sure. Let's go here down to the Windhelm docks. Out from Sadri's and the first big door is on the left there. This will take you down to the Windhelm docks. And we're looking for this Argonian Scouts Many Marshes. Whom I've n never seen on the docks here. You're supposed to be on the docks. Usually I find him by... The Nords That's don't not him. Appreciate us. So what? I don't appreciate them right back. Yeah, I never find him on the docks. So usually you have to find him by going to their sleeping quarters. See, all the Ar Argonians are like indentured labor here. Indentured slaves here. That's a good cheat. Okay, you gotta find him at the Argonian Assemblage right here, which is locked during the day, but it's open at in between eight and nine in the evening, or between eight and ten in the evening, so let's just wait. That will be nine forty eight, let's back it up one eight forty eight, that's about perfect. You can always find him sleeping there. There he goes in the evening. Everybody goes back. Comes home from work. 
That's not him. Should be embarrassed to be uncovered so. Yeah, I bet you if I was a naked Argonian, you'd be like, you know, ha ha ha. It's only because I'm humanoid. <laughs> okay, go in to open the door. Go in to open the door. Do you hate the dark elves? Okay, we'll talk to you later. There we go. So it's open. And we're looking for Scout's Mini Marshes. He's usually sleeping one of the beds here. There he is. Talk to him. We're used to getting by on scraps. Ask him, someone the giving you trouble. Torbjorn Shattershield. Torbjorn Shattershield. I wish someone would beat the coin out of his fat fists. He clings to every septum. Okay. He says an Argonian's labor is only worth a tenth of a proper new You don't want us to speak worker. to him? My people are not. You can try, but we've gotten nowhere talking to him ourselves. Okay, now you need a speed skill of at least 25. We have that at least easily. Soft. So... We got this miscellaneous, once again, favorite quest. Let's talk to Torbjorn. Torbjorn can be found in the marketplace. Let's just fast travel back to Windhelm to get back there quickly. He can be found in the marketplace uh, in the afternoon, starting at noon. So since we've blown our... Or we're putting our well-rested bonus at, in jeopardy, let's just go get it again. This our bitch still be active. And we'll just sleep till noon. So that would be 9.48 in the morning, 10, 11, 12. There we go. The storm cloaks. There we go. Well rested. We drink to our youth. To the... Let's go to the marketplace. And we're looking for Tolbjorn Shatter Shield. He's the one dressed like a fop. He's got like fancy duds on. If you come to the marketplace and it looks kind of deserted, just wait an hour. No. And it's this guy right here, sure Tobjorn. Scroll on down. Here, here's the one we need. You need to pay the Argonians a fair wage. Those boots aren't worth he complains. I do pay go for the persuade option. And there we go. Leveled up speech to 33. Fine. You win. I'll pay the Argonians more. Okay, now let's refresh our gift of charity bonus My by finding the beggar she's not in the marketplace and the murder hasn't happened yet so she's not there she's probably at the fire um in front of the palace let me just make sure she's not here i may have overlooked it no so she's probably in front of the fire in the palace in front of the palace Here she is. It's Give her a so coin. Up to no good, are we? Whoops, no wait a minute. I'll teach you. Up to no good. No no no, I don't want that dialogue. I'll teach you. But it'll cost you. Spare a coin. <laughs> the dialogue's in Skyrim are right. here. Here down here. Down here we go. Oh, thank you. There we go. Okay, so once again, fortified barter, fortified barter, fortified persuasion, thief stone, and well rested. Plus, speech is up to 33. We are now ready to set up the power speech machine at Sadri's. Buy speech skill training, sell them stuff to get our gold back, and level up speech again. Rinse and repeat. We should only have to do this twice, and we won't even have to leave his shop as I used to when um, I used power potions to do the same. Let me know if you see anything you like. All right, now let's just uh, save the game in case we screw up. Quick save, and let's get it underway. Good to see you. Finally, let's buy speech skill training first because we got lots of gold. up to 38 just short of 39 and we're just short of leveling up and gaining some more speech skill training rights let's just check it out here yeah just short of 38 so we only have to sell a few items to get up to 39 I like to share but we want our money back anyway so let's sell them as much as we can that sort of thing now I want to avoid selling enchanted items because you want to save those for power enchanting later on if you have to you have to 
Um, this enchantment is a duplicate, so we can sell that. Save that. Save that. Um, I'm just going to keep these for posterity. Let's say like we're working to create uh, somebody who uses heavy armor. You want to keep these pieces. Any stacks of stuff you have, sell them all one at a time. You'll level up speech a lot faster. This is because the game incorrectly... There we go. Leveled up to 39. The game incorrectly only gives you credit for one item when you sell an entire stack. It shouldn't do that. So this is not a glitch that we're exploiting. It's just simply the way the game should operate. So always sell stacks one at a time. Somebody was asking me, how do you get... Hang on. So we get like anything that pushes it up to the end here. How do you get it back instantly to one? Press the home button on your keyboard. Okay, home. And that's how you do that. Okay. So I'm just pressing enter, home, enter to sell them one at a time with a stack. Okay. Until you get down to five. And then you can sell them one at a time. Because so the enter, home, enter, enter, home, enter. Okay, that's how you do that. Stick with the slack and you won't get whacked. <laughs> uh, this enchantment we have to keep. The shrouded armor. Let's say you're going for a stealth character. I would. These are duplicates, so sell the the cowl. I would keep the armor and probably sell the shrouded robes. The hand wraps have no armor on them, so sell them. The same with the shoes. Sell them. Those are all duplicates here. So you can sell all those. And Sadri's running out of gold here. That's okay. Sell all the uh, the potions. Same thing again. That's it. He's bottomed out his gold supply. Do come again. We leveled up so we can earn some speech skill training rights again. Points into Magica. Trader dropped by recently with some buy some more well, speed skill training. The right place. There we go. This will push it up to 44. This is unfortunate. This rarely happens. Usually I, I go over. So it puts me in a kind of an awkward position. That's okay. And we'll sell them our stuff to get Speak. our gold back. Some may call this junk. Me, Let's start with the expensive pressure. stuff. See if we can level up uh, speech one more time to 45, the target level of 45. There we go. Beautiful. Now it's just a matter of getting our gold back. Sell as much as we can. Try to preserve the enchanted stuff for um, power enchanting later on. One thing about Sadri is he keeps his gold, eh? That's probably a glitch. But yeah, most vendors, when you leave their area, any over any gold that they have over their default supply will disappear and they'll go back to their default supply. One thing I noticed about Sadri is he hangs on to his gold, which is cool. I kind of like that. So I don't mind um, using that to my advantage because I've always thought it's kind of stupid that their gold should disappear. That's it. We've reached the target level of 45. And I didn't mean to do that. But that's okay. Reason being is once you finish this run you may want to save your speech skill training rights for this unless I already use them yeah I already use them that's okay yeah right that's right okay strike that okay so <laughs> it gets kind of confusing sometimes okay so we're at 45 now and we want to get speech up to 50 in order to get the merchant perk don't forget it says 55 because we're enjoying a bonus from the gift of charity so it's not really a 55, it's only a 45, all right? So all we have to do is collect five speech skill books. 
And one of them is right here in Sadri's shop. Mark the steals. Mark the steel rather, so don't take it, just read it. And once you've done Sadri a favor, a lot of the stuff in the shop becomes free. I would grab these cars eggs if I were you. And can you look around the rest of the shop? Have a look around. There's stuff to sell in case you run short. Just about anything. Let's go collect the rest of the books and finish off this run. The next book is... Actually, you know what we can do? It's a bit of a, a graphics glitch here. I saw that in the map too. Uh oh. Yeah, it's all over the place. Okay, let me just exit the game and, and reboot, and I'll see you on the flip side. Okay, I'm back. Check the map. Everything looks good. <laughs> yeah, I saw that uh, about a year ago. It's a strange glitch here. Okay. It is 3.09 in the afternoon. We're looking for this dude called Adonato, who's on the second floor in the Candle Hearth Inn, starting at noon. He may still be there. He usually writes, writes until 7. There he is in this corner here. Talk to him. I'm a what kind of writing do you do? Poor Gerard Get a, You're sure. a delivery to deliver a book Gerard to a question. place we're going to anyway. Sure so that's another quick move. 250 gold. Put on a cloth. How much gold are we up to now? 2800. Wow, I'm doing way, way better than practice friends. Okay, next stop. Solitude. We've been there before. If it's, we just fast travel there. And we're going to the Bard's College. Actually, we just go down here. It's that building there. Helgen. Destroyed by a dragon. Hard to believe, isn't it? Gerard Germain is right in this door here, right next to the uh, the master of the house. He's right, that guy there. Next time you might I have delivery get... from Adonato Leotelli. I'll look over this later. There you go. Why don't you take this for your trouble? Thank you. Welcome uh, to the Bard's College. Like and this guy always master. stops you. We can just tab right. out of that. May made another quick two hundred fifty gold. Go upstairs, hang a right here into the classroom. Find this book on the shelf called The Buying Game. Read it. Don't steal it. Just read it. And continue. Next stop. White Run. Hopefully it's business hours. Yes, indeed it is. In Bellathor's. Shop is another speech book. Bellathor's general goods. Take a good look around. I'm sure Off to the left there in that not, cupboard here, right there. Away. Biography of the Wolf Queen. Once again, read it, don't steal. Next stop, we've already been here there. We've already been here, there. We've already been there before as well. Falkreath. This place is the local inn. Open day and night, so you don't have to worry about business hours. Dead man's drink. Once again, behind the counter. Come on in. Let me know if you need anything. I'll take a seat by the fire, and I'll send someone over. You gotta cover your right own. here. Once again, read, don't steal. And we're up to 49. Finally, Mark Hearth. We've been there before as well. And good, it's business hours in the back of Arnleaf and Trading Company. Arn Arnleaf and Sons Trading Company. Local general merchant. Hang a left here. Find this little box here. This book right here. 
Once again, read, don't steal. There we go. Yeah, I knew we were gonna level up. Okay. And that's it, you have speech up to 50. And that is the end of the run. Okay, that's the end of the run. That's how to get speech up to 50 without having to do any crafting. No power potions, no smithing, no enchanting. Just using speech checks and selling free stuff. Alright? Now, at this point, you should save the game. Alright? Now, at this point, if you want to buy some skill training for another skill, um, don't level up yet because you'll lose your skill training rights for this level here. Alright? Now you can, like, continue making your build. Jeez, everybody really wants this. Everybody, be quiet! Right, doing a walker here. Sorry, I'm just listening to this dialogue here. Okay, so that's it. Like I said, um, you should do a save here, and then when you want to create your build, you have money to buy skill training. 3,000, yeah, that's the best I've ever done. And there's still more to sell, actually. Yeah, I did really good this time. Yeah, but when you are ready to go, level up. Swing it on around to speech. And spend a perk point in merchant. Which is the whole point of this. And now you can sell any item to any merchant. Including all the merchants that the Hall of Countenance in the College of Winterhold. Where you can set up what I call the power enchanting machine. How to power level enchanting very quickly. As long as you have the merchant perk. Okay, and I'll put a link to that video. I've done a complete tutorial on that. Put a link to that video also in the video description. Alright, so there we go. Generic power business start. Generic power business start. That's the whole 411 on that deal. Alright, I want to thank you all very much for watching. And if you thought this was remotely entertaining and or informative, hey, you know what to do. That's right. Like, fave, comment, and subscribe to get all my videos hot off the press. Alright, see you next video.